Right, okay, well, welcome to another video. This is uh, a little bit of an unboxing of a 2000 watt electric hot plate. Now we've started building this box, well I've got this box for the back of the van and we like to do a bit of camping and that, but I'm a little bit tired of getting gas canisters. So I'm going to try out and see whether or not an electric hob works. Now currently the only setup I have is I have a 2000 watt inverter, pure sign inverter, that's only connected to a 120 amp hour battery. So this might just drain everything. This says 2000 watts maximum. Now I think that's going to be both the hobs on full uh, and that's probably what's going to um, be the 2000 watts. But I think simple test of today. First we're going to unbox it and we're going to fill up a nice little camping kettle with water and we'll see whether or not my battery goes flat before the water boils. All right, so let's have a look what's in the box first. I only just got it, not actually looked at it yet. Okay. Go. There we go, it's upside down. Let's chuck that in the van. Put it in the right way. Right. First off, the size of this thing is great. Look how, how small it is on this. This is what's going to be my little cooking section. I'm going to put some light metal on there so it kind of finish it off. Uh, it's quite a good size. It's nice and compact. I think too major. I'll tell you what, hold on one second. I will get my trusty tape measure. We are 24 centimeters wide there. So it comes out 27 centimeters to the end of that. And roughly 46 centimeters in length. Those don't come off, not good. Right, this. Okay, now I currently have an extension cable which is linked to my inverter on the front. So I'm going to plug it in. Everything's off at the moment. Try this one for starters. I can tell you now my solar thing has dropped to apparently 11.8 volts. It's obviously trying to draw quite a considerable amount of power through it. It's incredibly frustrating, I can't hear if it's boiling. Oh yeah, we are starting to boil. I think that's too bad. 
starting to boil now. Stay, I don't know, it's probably been around about five minutes now. And, you know, we've got, this that's a full kettle. It's a full one of those camping kettles. I don't know what that is, a liter, I think. Up to 12.6. And so on again, I can hear some clicking goes over it's going on and off. So obviously it's regulating its heat. It's good actually because when it went back off, then the battery went up to 12.6 and the battery indicator showed pretty much full again. So Yes, yeah, clicking on and off. So it's going on. All right, we're going to turn this on. Yeah, battery indicator's really struggled with that. But it's still pushing it out, actually, I think. I don't know how long it would do it for. There we go, we've got a rolling boil now. So we'll end it with that. Let's turn that off. Battery with that going off has gone back up to 12.5 volts and only lost a little bit on the actual indicator, so. Battery held out. It did, it held out. As you turn this off, this is still gonna be hot. That's actually worked really well. Okay, well, that works. Uh, it looks like it'll just about sort out with my battery as well that I've got currently. I do think I'm gonna need a little bit more juice, probably a little bit of a bigger battery, so something that can push out a few more ampage. But it works. Good stuff. All right, any questions, any comments, please just um, write them down below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, all that malarkey. I'll see you on the next one. And maybe even a little bit of a review and take this camp in with a gas hob for backup. See how well it does. All right. Bye bye.